Hi guys, Afro Boy here at it again here. Um, so as you see in front of me right here, I have this thing that I made a while back. This was my original model for the Luger P08, which is a German handgun used by the Nazis back in World War II. Now this appeared in a video before. Um, I mean it looks decent, but it's not exactly what I wanted. You see, on this side you have your replicated safety and your disassembly pin, but you have no front or rear sight. No sight at the front, and no sight at the back. And this also had, like, a mock magazine right here, but it was not removable. It also had a simple trigger clicking system, and a very square, uh, whatchamacallit, trigger guard. The only bright side of this was that it could be cocked. And if you look inside here, there's a small chamber inside the gun. Now, I'm going to compare this to an old cap gun that I have. Now, this is not a real gun. This is just a, uh, a cap gun from, like, the 60s. So, it's, uh, as you can tell, side by side. It doesn't look the best. You know, I tried it, but it's just not the best. So, that's why yesterday, I made this Luger P08 revamp. Now, it looks similar, but also very different. For one, um, this one does have front and rear sights. The only difference this time that makes it slightly unrealistic is that they are fiber optic-like, anyway. They're, they're made out of translucent uh, wedge pieces. And it does have the front sight and rear sight, like I stated before. You also have this fake disassembly pin, which it does not disassemble it at all. And the trigger guard looks a lot more similar to the actual model. As for the cocking mechanism, it's still technically the same, but it does not have the chamber. But it does have this. Um, now, on the real Luger P08, whenever the gun is fired... Or whenever you cock it, the barrel will go back just a, sm just a small bit. But, I couldn't really get that, so I just made it go back all the way. Very similarly to my Nambu, which similar, but still. Anyways, so the things that this new Luger has that the old one didn't, it actually, you know, this feature, which is simply done with a kinetic structure, I'll show you in a minute. And then, removable magazine. And as you can tell, the grips are a lot smoother and thinner compared to the old one. These are the new grips. These are the old grips. Big difference. Um, that was just achieved using some base plate pieces along with uh, a bunch of uh, 1x2, I think. Yeah, one by two stacked to Lego bricks. And with a couple connectors on each side. So, um, I do think that this is a big improvement from my other from my other model. Um it's a little it's a little bit lighter weight, which is good. It doesn't have some of the same things that the other one did, like the chamber, but it has more I feel that is a little better. And if you want to see how this system right here works. Here's how it works. So this right here is the system. So the charging handle rests on the outside of the gun. And then you pull it up and then pull it back. And then that in turn moves the barrel along with the charging handle. Like this. And it's easy to just put back together, simply, just like this. So I feel like this was a large improvement from my older, uh, my older Luger. Looks a lot more realistic, and, um, yeah, well, that's really it for today, guys. I uh, hope you enjoy it, and, um, expect more videos soon, including one up here.
with my custom made assault rifle. I've shown uh, only the people in my group chat a preview of this. Um, but this one, this video is going out to the whole public, so, you know. So that's just another preview for all you other people who haven't seen it yet. And, um, uh, yeah, that's what I got so far. So I hope you enjoyed, uh, my Luger PO8 revamp. And, uh, always stay tuned to this channel for more information. Sorry if I'm blabbering on. So, um, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Okay, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, 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 I'm gonna just, like, stop for real now, okay? Bye.